my channel. This is Jules, in case you didn't know from reading my title thing. So I'm thinking this video, at least the intro, maybe the outro, it's gonna be a little goofy today. So just know what you're getting into right now. And just so nobody asks, no, I'm not high right now, nor am I drunk. This is just, this is Jules. So today I'm gonna be doing my boxy charm. I always get so excited for this subscription like every month and I look at all the sneak peeks and I'm like get all pumped about it and like I was really excited to get this because I mean we got glitter things and who doesn't love glitter? I mean I know there's people who like literally don't like glitter but I try to pretend that those people don't exist. I really this is my life. I already took everything out of the boxes and like kind of tested some of the things. So anyway, um, I guess I'll just kind of start with like the first thing that's in my hand right now. That was really ladylike. Were these crown brushes and these crown brushes look almost identical to my Wet n Wild brushes. And I was excited though because I mean, I love pink uh, just a little bit and these are pink and white and I thought they were pretty. Um, so I was honestly, I was mostly excited about this one because I figured I could like use it for contour. First thing I did when I got this is I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go wash these brushes to be completely honest. I mean, hairs were com like, I know that these shed, I'm pretty, yeah, these are obviously synthetic because the what animal has pink and white hair. These were shedding a lot, especially the one that I was most excited about. So I'm a little nervous about uh, it shedding some more. Granted, now that I'm like trying to pull hair out of it, it's not coming out. But I figured I could just kind of like use these brushes on top of the makeup that I already have on and just see how they work, I guess. Next in my boxy charm that I guess we'll talk about is gonna be this, um, it's like a lip scrub, like exfoliator thing. So I've actually already tried this. I tried this when I first got it because I really like lemon love it so i tried this and i really liked it it was really gritty and it really did a great job of exfoliating everything and then i went to go wipe it off and like an oil was left behind which i actually really liked i know when you exfoliate your lips you know it can be really raw on your lips and then when it leaves the oil behind it kind of makes it more moisturized so i like this so far Next in the box of charm is the Cover FX, um, it's like Shimmer Veil, and then the color Amethyst, really, really pretty purple. I swatched this on my hand, and it's on the more sheer side. I was just going to like put it on top of my already sort of kind of shimmery eyeshadow. Next, we got a, I say we, like we all got the same looks. I don't know, maybe you guys got this, maybe you didn't. But this is the Vintage by Jessica Leipsekind. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Um, but this is just like a smoky eye pencil in jet black. Just a regular like wooden pencil. Lastly, I was not too thrilled about seeing this in my boxy charm. I honestly would have much rather gotten the Ofra magnetic palette because I have some eyeshadows just like chilling that I needed a palette for. And so then I got this and I was like, God, I have already have so many highlighters. I don't need any more. But um, this, the color scheme, it kind of reminds me of my Anastasia one, which I guess in the sense they're both kind of like holographic-y. This one's obviously way more holographic, which I can appreciate. I feel like the colors are really similar these just look darker in this one. Like this purple that's in here, it really isn't as dark as it looks in the pan. It doesn't apply like that. But this is really chunky and I don't really like this all the time. So this, when I saw this, I was like, man, another Anastasia palette. I mean, Aurora palette. So that's just what I thought when I saw this. And then I was thinking that I just, I can't see myself using this as highlighter, even though I think it would look really cool Maybe if, you know, whenever I go to concerts, it'll be cool, but not in my everyday life. But I feel like these would be really cool eyeshadows. We're just going to start layering this on my face. Okay, so first thing that I think I want to try is going to be the Cover FX uh, Shimmering Veil. Let me, like, get my life in order. I'm just going to apply it to my eyeball. 
Holy Jesus. This is so pretty and it's not like wubba bam. It's just kind of like more subtle. It's not like a crazy, crazy purple. I'm feeling it. I am feeling this. This will, this will get used. Because I feel like some of the things I get in my boxy charm, I'm like, mm, I guess it's not like kind of nice to have, but am I really gonna use it? Probably not. Next, I guess we can test out this eyeliner. So we'll just, it's already sharpened. I'm just gonna try to put it on on top of this, even though I already have mascara on. Oh, don't do this. Do as I say, not as I do. I know I'm stretching my eye. I would never normally do this. It's only happening because I have mascara on right now. Yeah, this is kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to put on. Not gonna lie. Now we have glitter all over it. Tools. Oh well. I really feel like this eyeliner probably would have done better had I done it before I did mascara because she's rough over here. She's really, she's rough. Uh, so I guess now I'm just gonna try it in the waterline and see if it does anything. Definitely not that jet black like they said. This is not the look for me. I just wanted y'all to know how this, how did, how, how this did in the waterline. Now we're gonna try and use the brushes. I'm just gonna use my Shading Light palette and I'm gonna try to use the, the smaller one, the one I was excited about, and I'm just gonna be dipping in. I like it. So I think this brush is like just the right size for contour. And it's not, my other contour brush that I've been using is this e.l.f. one. It's just, it creates a really harsh line on my face and a lot of times it's really hard to blend out. I think this since is more fluffy. So oh, look, 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 look. More hairs are falling out. <laughs> if this brush dies before I've gotten sufficient use out of it, I'm gonna be really upset. Okay, so this one, definitely going into my regular face collection, whatever. What are we gonna use this one for? Pow regular powder? We're, we're, we're not doing this in order. It's okay, I mean, we did eyeshadow and then contour and now we're doing powder. So I'm just gonna dip into some Cody Airspun and we're just gonna cover up all that contour I just did and all the, the highlight I had on. That's fine. I don't know, I feel like this is just like a good powder brush. And then this one, I was kind of like disappointed when I got this because I don't, let me see if y'all can tell. Do you see how it's like slanted like this? I, did it, is it supposed to be like that? Because it seemed like it was like that because of the way it was put in my box and even though I washed it, it just kind of stays like that so it's crooked and I don't know if that's a good thing or if that's a bad thing. I'm going to use this as a highlighting highlighting brush right now. We're going to, because we need to use this. So, you know, we're just going to dip into, we're just going to dip into this cool one right here. What color is this? It looks kind of brown but like it has blue reflex in it. And I feel like all I see on my face is the blue. Let's go into the purple and we're just gonna put purple on my nose. Can y'all see how crazy that is? I feel like I have a lightsaber on my nose. We're just gonna, let's make this more intense. Let's just do this. If we're just, if we're gonna highlight with purple highlighter, we're just, we're just gonna do it. Let's do Lello. Lello. I don't know why I think I'm a child right now. That's kind of pretty. This is probably one of the more wearable colors out of this. 
like at least as a highlighter I mean all of these are like good eyeshadow colors and these are really sheer so you would have to wear them on top of like regular eyeshadows and then I'm gonna dip into that purple and we're gonna put it on top of this purple eyeshadow I already have on the eye yeah it makes it look more more metallic -y, less glittery and more purple does it make sense I feel like what was this collection called let's let's talk about that galaxy glow very appropriate super appropriate for this so I guess I can just do a rundown on the prices of everything now so this palette retails for $39 I would not pay $39 for this the shimmer veil I'll get it away already here this retails for $28 the eyeliner retails for $21 I feel like you can get a high an eyeliner for Maybelline a little bit better but this um, the lip buffer is retails for $24 brushes retail for like $29.99 which I guess if you think about this one's probably gonna be a little bit more so if this one's like 12 this one's like 10 this one's like 8 it's $30 they're okay uh, they're okay so yeah guys that's kind of the roundup of all the things that I got in my boxy charm we'll see if I actually end up using all this stuff uh, hope I will I think I will definitely be using the that brush I was using for contour and definitely be using that shimmer veil by cover FX I thought that was really pretty I have it just on this eye right now but anyways if you made it to the end of this what I feel like is a train wreck uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up and um, yeah I'll see y'all next time have a great night or day wherever you guys are I guess it's night so I think it's night everywhere which it might not be but I'll see y'all later bye <laughs>